Today I'm doing a drop video, an unboxing video. This is for Record Store Day 2022. Everything that didn't come out in time on Record Store Day essentially got pushed back to a fallback day, which was June 18th. So there's about three dozen titles that are coming out this uh, coming up week. This is one of the titles I was looking to uh, looking forward to the most. This is uh, Miles Davis Live, What It Is, Montreal, 1983. So that's July 7th, 1983. This is a kind of a preview of the Bootleg Series Volume 7, which according to the hype sticker is forthcoming. So we've got John Schofield and Bill Evans, Daryl Jones. This looks pretty good. I'm excited about listening to this, and I will be doing so very quickly today. All right, let's crack open. All right, this is the inside of the gatefold. I actually really dig Miles Davis's 1980s output, you know. He started having a little bit more hip-hop influences in his music. There were some collabs, and he also did a couple of covers that were actually quite good. He did the uh, Cyndi Lauper cover, and he did uh, Michael Jackson's Human Nature, both uh, that I really, you know, both dug both of those. And he was putting them in set lists quite a bit in the 80s. Not on this particular record, but yeah. It's uh, generally an era of Miles Davis that most people try to forget, but I actually really dig. All right, so we have, unfortunately, paper printed sleeves. They are not polyline. We've got a little essay there, it looks like, by Gregory Tate. All right, let's check out the discs. Anything that doesn't sell in the store on Record Store Day will uh, be available on the website the following day at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. So what is that, June 19th? What is that, 5 o'clock Arizona time, 8 o'clock Eastern Time? So as you can see, because of that wonderful paper inner sleeve, we have a nice amount of paper that is on the record that uh, needs to be cleaned off. So yeah, this is a very filthy record. So, uh, yeah, we're going to clean that before we listen to it. No damage to it, but quite dirty. Don't really know where this is manufactured. I'm not familiar with uh, any of the mastering engineer credits as well. But same thing. You got dirt. You got paper scuffs. Unfortunately, when you don't use polyline inner sleeve, that is the norm. Manufacturers, they really like to use these printed inners because, you know, it's a way of them putting the essay and whatnot together. But they need to include a polyline inner sleeve and then maybe stuff these in as well. You're seeing that a lot, but not all the time. But I'm still looking forward to giving this a listen to. Check us out online, guys. www.theingroove.com. Until next time.